the worst. Doing a documentary on my scandal. Hi. So from Sausage Party on to another film that I saw recent, semi-recently, uh, Wiener. Haha, <laughs> segues. Anyway, I'm Jack. This is Real Opinions. Wiener is the 2016 documentary film following the New York mayor campaign of Anthony Wiener. The reason I'm reviewing this now, I did see it quite a few weeks ago. I thought about reviewing it. It just kind of passed by and I thought, you know what, it's not going to get that much uh, focus on. And I just enjoyed watching it. I didn't feel like sitting down and reviewing it. But I do feel like reviewing it now because um, the reason why they chose him as a kind of focus point is that I'll give you some background. So Anthony Weiner, yeah, he was quite popular politician at the time. He was a senator, I believe, an up and coming politician. He's, he gave a very rousing speech in a, uh, I think it was some kind of Senate meeting regarding removing funds for injured veterans. And so he gave a kind of very American speech in that this is not America, this is uh, a kind of crime, how dare you people do this? And it got a lot of support because, because you know, we just kind of expect our politicians to be quiet and kind of go with the flow of the party. And he stood up and he did a sh- shouting and screaming for, for, the good, for a good cause, obviously. And that led to people kind of getting on his side and wanting to support him. And that led to his first campaign, which was halted by his first sexting scandal, where it came out that he was sexting someone. And that kind of just snowballed and he dropped out of the race. I believe he dropped out or I can't remember if he lost or dropped out. And then he kind of went away for a few years and then he comes back with this mayor's campaign. And that's what this film follows. I didn't realise at the time that they were filming a documentary. I followed his campaign roughly in that I followed it (laughs) when the second scandal came out because I had heard of the first scandal a few years ago. And the second scandal came out actually around the time of the of the campaign, and they film they are filming before the scandal comes out, after the scandal breaks, and kind of how the campaign is essentially a masterclass in self sabotaging politics. I really did enjoy it. Actually, I really enjoyed it. I, I didn't know how funny it was going to be or how much it was going to focus on certain aspects, and I felt like they didn't focus much on the comedy side of it and they didn't focus much they didn't try it felt like it was a very honest documentary in that i could see why he was popular at the time Uh, before that i did just see him as a joke i mean with a name like that and you're sexting pictures of your of your dick to people it's 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 very just apt and it's very funny and uh, uh, people see him as laughing stock uh if you didn't know him and getting to know him you understand you the documentary does a very good thing of seeing, proving that he's a very dedicated politician, which I enjoyed as well. But also they give you a lot of insight how to, but also they definitely show how he's essentially like a massive narcissist. And it was just really enjoyable to get like a backstage look at this politician. At the time, I like, I kind of thought, okay, so it's a mayor's campaign that they, so this is kind of a fun look of a, at an old campaign that it doesn't really have that much relevance to today. But, um, it actually, it kind of, and I found that they did a very good job of tying it in with how it is relevant in today's politics to focus on this thing that happened quite a while ago, because his wife is kind of the right hand lady to Hillary Clinton's campaign. She helps as a major, major part in Hillary Clinton's campaign, and she plays a bit of a part, kind of, she never appears in the documentary or anything like that, but she plays kind of a major part in the proceedings of how how he handles the rest of his campaign, how he handles it with his wife, because obviously this whole time with the sexting scandal, he is effectively cheating on his wife. They don't focus too much on the personal stuff, which which... Some people could be like, oh, they don't focus on that. I kind of appreciate that because at the end of the day, they are just people and you wouldn't want a camera in your face. One, if you're a politician, two, if this is happening to you. And they could, they do a very good job at showing his good side and his bad side somewhat equally in that they, I think they, they show as much of the, his good side as they can and they show as much of the bad side that they filmed <laughs> in that I don't I think that there is more bad in him than there is good um the narcissistic parts of him definitely he's just a very sore winner and he's just a very angry person you can tell that but I think it was a very good documentary for showing kind of the portrait of someone and the someone that is so self-destructive it's not really a spoiler for uh, a documentary I suppose but um needless to say after the second scandal comes out his campaign does not do well 
and um, they kind of just leave it with focusing on how he and his wife are just kind of picking up the pieces of their marriage and trying to work on and trying to get ahead with it. And um, and it, then it's, it's come to light within like the last week that he's been involved in a third scandal, which I think is just very telling with the documentary and that you sit at the end of this and you can tell, like you think, I mean, it happens with all doc- documentaries, like you have some kind of perspective on what you think the character, the person is like, and you can just tell at the end of that, he hasn't changed at all. He hasn't learned his lesson. He doesn't care. He won't learn his lesson. Like no matter how many how many things crush this person and how many of them they know that they caused, it's not going to stop them from doing it again in the future. And with this third scandal, it's kind of just confirmation of everything that the documentary was trying to make. And I just see that as a not really a prophetic. It's not. It's not like they say he will cheat again at the end of the film, but um. It's kind of a thing where they do a very good, yeah, they just do a very good job of showing him and the campaign of how, and how you know at the end of it, he has not changed one bit despite such failures. And throughout all of it, it's very enjoyable. I found a bit of the news, like the cutting to bits of the news, a bit too cheesy for me, um, a bit too slapdash. There are a few more aspects which I wish they could have focused on a bit more. I didn't get a good sense of what was happening to others in the campaign, in that they will say, Wiener is down in the polls, but they won't say why. I mean, they sh- they focus on the fact that it could it is also maybe slightly down to this scandal thing, but it must be down to other political reasons as well. And they don't show his opponents as much as when they're losing. Like when they're losing, they show them. Uh, but when he starts to lose, they kind of drop all of that and focus on his scandal, which I know that is focusing on him. And again, I said that it was very good that they did such a personal film, personal documentary. But um, I also wanted a bit more context at times, like because um, I just feel like that that's what makes a good documentary as well, if they can make it clear and concise what was happening. And a lot of the time, wasn't too clear with, with stuff that was happening. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it for a documentary. Mm. I'd recommend it if you're interested in politics or just idiots that like to, to ruin, ruin their own chances of, of winning every single time. Yeah, it's enjoyable. I'd say 7 or an 8. Again, I saw it a while ago. I just wanted to bring it back up again because I was thinking about it recently with all the news. I mean, I'd have to watch it again to be sure how much I enjoyed it, but I, I'd say at the time it was an 8, maybe now a 7, but I, I, it's something that I would watch again. So it's a documentary that I would watch again, and it's something that I feel like might not have a lasting, lasting impact, but I feel like is... A good insight into this one person. Otherwise, I think without it, it would have just just remained a sort of a, a bit of a laughing stock, and that's interesting to me.